Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Circuits. Let's bring one mesh using the open command. I will just select the top.stl and open. We see the mesh on the screen, but in this example, I would like to bring in another part which is also a different mesh. In order to do this, you must select the import mesh command because if you select open, it will replace and create a new document. So in order to add another mesh to the scene, you just select the import mesh command from the file menu. I will select the bottom.stl and press open. We will confirm that this is in millimeters. And as you can see now, we have the two meshes on the screen. These are normal entities which I can hide from the feature tree. I can select and edit them, as you will see in our other tutorials. But in this example, I would like to play a little bit and align them in space. I pre-select my bottom part and go to Align and select Align Interactive. Now, because we have this mesh selected, we are able to actually manipulate and adjust this on the screen. Also, you can do alignment using the primitives on this uh, mesh, etc. For example, here I will just rotate this uh, around the... I will zoom fit to see and then again I rotated my part. I can use the gumball command, which is, as you can see on the screen, aligned to the world coordinate system. It, it shows you how you can move the mesh on the axis. You can also, I'll press it on front view, I can just use this white rectangle and I can drag and adjust my object in space. I can put it on a different views for example, top view, and I can use these handles to manually adjust and create my assembly. In such a way, I can place the two meshes in a suitable way, so they can be, when I create my surfaces, I can much better create them in space. So this is just an example that you can manipulate multiple meshes in quick surface and work with them individually. If you want to merge these two, what you need to do is just select Reference Mesh and Export Visible. If you export this, I will type in both, it will create a single file that will create the two meshes all together. I will hide this for now and I will just import my mesh. Now this is the both. So as you can see now, this is uh, again a single mesh, but it contains the two meshes that I exported. So this is um, a workaround how you can actually merge the two meshes together. We don't have explicit command for merging it, because this is a good solution for this. So in the next videos, you will learn how to uh, use these meshes. But the more important here is that you can have many meshes on your scene. For example, also, I want to add, you can right-click and duplicate this. This is quite useful, so you can keep your original, you can take this um, mesh, you can probably reduce the number of polygons, or you can also edit this mesh and trim and extract only some pieces of this part. But while you're working with this, it doesn't affect your original mesh and you can keep it as a backup for your further reference. You will see in the next videos how we can do this in a very efficient way. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.